welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to film what's in my mini fridge. But before going into that video, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit of what's going on right now. I don't want to get into so much detail because I want my videos to be an escape of what's going on right now in the world and not be reminded of what's going on. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still filming because I'm working from home. My husband unfortunately is still working because he's a construction worker and all construction sites are still open in Toronto. So we are being very careful and following the basic protocol. I hope everybody's doing okay. I'll be trying to do more Instagram live videos so if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you do. So if there's a week where I don't have a video, I might most likely be on Instagram. So let's just jump in into this video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because on Instagram I did show a picture of what's inside my mini fridge. I'm just gonna go into more details about this mini fridge and the products that are inside as well. I did show my husband the mini fridges and we were looking for them and they do have some at Walmart but I feel like it's super expensive. It was like an old school fridge with the little handle that you pull it. I would have wished mine had them but I did read a lot of reviews that said the little handle became loose and there was no way of tightening it up so I was like mm, I don't want that kind of problem. Then I just forgot about it. <laughs> and he got me the mini fridge for my birthday last year. And it's in pink, guys. Since I got this mini fridge as a birthday gift, I don't know the price, but I do know where he purchased it at Urban Outfitters. Just like the mini washer. <laughs> it's by the brand Kululi. So if you guys want to check them out on Instagram, I will link it down below. This is not a sponsored video. This is just me sharing with you guys my mini fridge. <laughs> okay, let's zoom in. On the back you have the adapter. You have the option to put it on cold or warm or just turn it off. It barely makes any noise. This is the noise you get from it. It's not loud. And you have the handle at the top of the fridge so you can carry it or move it around. It does bring the adapter for the car so you can actually take this fridge to keep drinks cold or if you want to keep something warm during a long trip. To open it, it's very easy. Open it through here. It's not that hard. It is magnetic so you can feel it close when it, it closes. Make sure that it actually closes properly otherwise the air comes out because sometimes it will stay open like this. You want to make sure to push it in. So this is the inside of my mini fridge. As you can see, my setting spray and one of my hydrating lotions don't fit in there, so I have to kind of tilt them so they fit. I did tell my husband I wanted the shelf and I wanted this on the door. A lot of them don't have this on the door. Now, obviously, <laughs> my skincare is growing and obviously less is fitting in here, but it's okay. Some of them are samples and are almost done. All right, so we're gonna start with what's in the door. I decided to put here my favorite Freeman eye mask. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen them. They're on the skincare highlights. These are one of my favorite eye masks because it's also super affordable at Walmart. And I also have a lip mask, which I haven't used to be honest. There's only one in here. It's by this brand. I don't know how to say it, but I've tried other stuff from them and they're good. So I wanted to give the lip one a try, but I haven't used it because I actually want to film an Instagram live. All right, the next thing that we have in here is one of my favorite lip balms. I got this from the brand Laneige. This one is berry and it actually smells like berries. It's so good. It's like a clear lip gloss. I used this all summer long last year and it's really good. I also apply this before I start filming so my lips don't look so dry. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. I promise you, you'll love it. I fell in love with it. The last thing here on the door is a little sample I got by Biotherm. It's the Aqua Glow Super Concentrate. This is a hydrating lotion. It does have live plankton water and glycerin plus vitamin complex, which I do like. I enjoy the smell on this so much. As you can tell, it's almost 
almost done. This is the empty door. As you can see, there's this much space. I can't put another mask in here because otherwise my fridge won't close. Once I use this, I just put another one and refill it. For this one, I'm gonna have to buy more. So now we're gonna move on to the inside of my fridge. There's a lot, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top. So we have here the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. My name in Spanish is Maracuya. I don't know why it's with a J. But anyways, I'm almost done with it. It's another sample I got when I bought the Tarte Pack My Bags Eye Masks. I'm just gonna keep using it for the meantime that I have it. I honestly don't see any difference. My dark circles, they're still dark. <laughs> Next we have this little guy right here. It's also by La Neige. And this is the Water Bank Hydro Essence. This is a serum for all skin. I freaking love it. This is a sample and obviously you guys, it's almost empty. And I saw it at Sephora. I wanna get the big bottle because this is good stuff right here. And it smells really good too. My skin loves any type of serums that are super lightweight and trust me this is super lightweight next I have my Juviance gel cream this is a moisturizing gel cream for day and night it also is a light texture this is the moisturizer that I use for under my eyes I use very little of it and anywhere I see any fine lines it helps plump your skin up and hydrate it. I haven't stopped buying this one. I think this is my third. It does last pretty long. When my under eye isn't super dry, then I only use it during the daytime before my makeup. But if my under eye is super dry, then I use it both day and nighttime. So the next item we have here, it's by Cow Dali. This is the Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. Guys, I love this stuff. I was sent a sample before and I finished it. It really did help. This is not for your under eye. It says to avoid eye contour area, so I don't use it for that. That's why I have the Tarte one. I really love it for any spots. If you have breakout spots that are still scarring and stained your face, this really helps. It does have grapeseed oil it smells so much like grapeseed I really like this one next I have the drunk elephant protini polypeptide cream this I got from Sephora last year as a birthday gift I used it I think one time but I kind of felt like my skin felt it's a little bit too thick but it's not I look at it and it looks very watery so I'm gonna give it another shot I'll let you guys know I keep it in here because it's cute I like the packaging and I want to give it another try it's supposed to improve the appearance in your skin tone the texture and firmness the next thing I have is obviously my face roller this is a rose quartz face roller then it has rose gold and I love it and it's refreshing to your face I can't put it on the door because otherwise it won't close the next thing I have is my Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Guys, I freaking love this stuff. I'm almost done with this and I don't want to. I haven't actually applied this in a while. But it really does help to firm your skin. So I love this mask. Definitely recommend this. Okay, the next one I have is by Ula Henriksen. And this is the Moment of True 2-in-1 Polish and Sugar Mask. I love this stuff. I love the feeling of the honeyish sugar on your face. It has sugar, honey, and pomegranate seed powder. It really helps exfoliate your skin. I love the smell of this too. It smells more citrusy and more towards the orangey smell, but I love it. You can remove the shelf if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna remove it right now. I'll show you guys after I empty this area out. Okay, so right here I have another Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I've used this stuff. It says it's cantaloupe glycerin. It purifies and dissolves your makeup. There's not much to say with this one. It really does remove your makeup. I've used it a lot of times. It's almost done. Next I have here my Wonder Beauty Dive In Moisturizer. And I freaking love it. It's, I've used it a lot of times. Okay, next, this is the Earth Harbor Luna Lay. This is my favorite night serum because it's super lightweight and it actually helps your skin look smoother and more radiant. I just got this last month and I'm already a little bit more than halfway down the bottle. <laughs> this is definitely a must and I definitely do recommend. 
Next, I have another glass jar, but this one is by Dr. Botanical. This is the Moroccan Rose Facial Oil. I got this in August. I'm almost done. I've also tried to hold myself not to use it because I don't want to finish it, but also it's really amazing. I've used this all winter long and it helps maintain my skin super hydrated. Next, we have here the Sistine Herbal Collagen X Retinal Cherub Eye Mask. They actually come in the shape of a cherub and it's so cute. They're pink. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it down below or if you're watching through your mobile, you can just click up here. Another of my favorite eye masks. Next I have here a mask I haven't tried, but I want to try. It's also by that same brand. If anybody knows, please leave in the comments down below how to say this name. I don't know how to say it. But I want to do a Instagram live specially for this one. It's a unicorn glow. It says it has black charcoal. It also says your hologram mask. So I'll begin more on Instagram live through this quarantine. Next I have here two face masks by Freeman Beauty. This one is another one of my favorite. It's a go-to hydrating sheet mask. I love it because it has Manuka Honey Collagen. It instantly boosts moisture and improves elasticity. The sheet mask is 100% cotton. This one right here is the charcoal one. This one is a cleansing sheet mask. It instantly boosts purity and cleans your pores. And this sheet mask is actually made of 100% bamboo. I always buy these at Walmart favorite brand. This brand is also available at Walmart. Another favorite by Freeman's Beauty. This is the Hydrating Cream Mask. It's the Manuka Honey Collagen. Just like this one, but instead of a mask, it actually comes in like a lotion. So you apply it on your face and it instantly moisture, restores smoothness, and improves elasticity. So it does the same thing. This one tells you to rinse it off. I've tried using just a little bit, like as a hydrating moisturizer before my makeup, and it does also work. You don't have to rinse it off, just don't put so much. And it's also super lightweight. Next I have here two items by Indeed Laboratories. They both are from the Hydraluron collection. This one is the serum and this one is the intense moisture lotion. I also had the hydration booster by them because it was a three step. It's to keep your skin as hydrated as possible. As you can see I finished this before because I loved using this one by itself. Um, these ones I still have some of it. I still use these two together. I use the serum first and then I apply the moisturizer. Last but not least, I have here the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. I got this in one of my Fat Fit Fun starter box. This is a full size product. I used it only one time because I have so many eye creams right now. I will give it a chance to try it and like keep using it as soon as I am done with other eye products. Okay, so this is what the inside of my mini fridge looks like. As I said, you can remove the shelf if you wanted to. I know that I could fit the products like this, but I actually like having the shelf. It looks a little bit more organized. As you can see, it's a little bit wet because it does get sometimes a little bit too cold that it creates some frost around here and then it just melts down so so that's the only downside i have about this mini fridge is, and it actually drops the water through this crack it comes out from from the bottom from the screws that's why this mini fridge is now on my vanity because if it drips water it's fine it's on a glass surface i had it on a wooden shelf since it got wet it kind of ruined the wood <laughs> this video let me know your thoughts on the mini fridge and what are the skincare products that you have tried from my collection let me know in the comments down below also please don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel please remember to stay home if you can and stay safe if you have to go out i'll see you guys to my next video bye
are four tips that should help you perfect your pronunciation of pomegranate. Pomegranate. Break pomegranate down into sounds. Okay, Pom thank plus you. I plus hey, Google, thanks. Plus it. My pleasure. I scored the goal, but your pass was right on the tape. Uh -huh.